Summer is drawing to an end. The kids are back in school. We just came back from a South Florida trip with the family, swimming with manatee and checking out the Everglades. If you haven't seen that, make sure that you check it out. I'll leave a link for you to check out that video. Definitely something you want to take a look at. We're back in the garden and doing a bunch of updating and moving into the winter gardening season for us here in Florida. So I'll show you what I've got in store and what's coming next and what my hopes are for next year. Welcome back to Hidden Oaks Homestead. It's Nicole and I am finally back in my garden. This is one of my happy places where I can just work, sun, rain, whatever's going on. I can come out here, get my hands dirty, and it's, it's relaxing to me. It's really great to just get your hands dirty, dig in the dirt, mess with the plants, do some harvesting, plant some new stuff, and uh, experiment around. I'm gonna show you around the garden a little bit and talk about my failures this year. Squash really didn't work out the way I wanted to. Some of the things we tried out worked a lot better, but we are definitely learning what works for us, what doesn't work, and what we need to do different next year. Some of the food that we're growing, we grow on trellises. And we've experimented with a few different options of what has worked out. We expanded some of our trellis options that we had in last year's garden and built a bunch more of those. But I wanted to show you what really worked for us and what we're not gonna do again. And one of the things that we really enjoy are these arches right here that we've made with cattle panels. They work amazingly for anything that you need to trellis, whether that's cucumbers, beans, that's what we used it for, but you can definitely grow squash, tomatoes, whatever you need to trellis, you can grow it on those things. These will not go anywhere. All you need to do is arch them, sec secure them to the ground, and they're good to go and you can reuse them for anything year after year after year. So this is a fantastic investment for us. We're definitely going to make more of these and use these again. I just pulled all of the tomatoes out of the ground. They were done, they were spent, they weren't going anywhere else in this Florida heat, not setting any more blooms or anything. They were determinant, determinate, there we go, I got it, <laughs> tomatoes. So they only grow for a certain amount of time and then they just don't produce anymore. So these are out of the ground now. We've had some hornworms like crazy this year. I was literally out here every day picking off worms and throwing them to the chickens, but they just would not leave my plants alone this year. What I used for the tomatoes to trellis them is the Florida weave, and it works really well and is a very cheap alternative to doing anything else because really all you use is stakes and strings to string them up. But Next year, I am definitely using cattle panels for that as well. Cattle panels have just 
worked really great for us and you can reuse them year after year and really you don't have to worry about dealing with the strings after. One thing that really hasn't worked well and is not worth the money, in my opinion, are tomato cages. If you can build them yourselves out of whatever wire you got left over, it's definitely not a bad option. But we did invest in a few tomato cages at the local market because they were on sale, so we grabbed a few. They're just not really worth their money. They don't seem to be able to hold much weight when it comes to carrying big tomato fruit and they just tend to fall apart so i'm not a big fan of those tell me what you used for your tomatoes because i'm always happy to learn but i think for us it's definitely going to be cattle panels next year What you see behind me here is bamboo. Bamboo is a really good alternative option because you can really customize it however you want, whether you want to build a dome or a trellis or just use it as a stake. Bamboo is a great and cheap option to reuse every year and you can customize it however you want. So I really enjoy bamboo in the garden because it's super versatile and you can use it for a lot of different options to grow fruit, vegetables, and anything that you need to grow in your garden. Peppers have worked out really great for us this year. We tried growing okra for the first time. We didn't really know what to expect. The first plants of okra that we planted, we actually started in the garage and then we transplanted them outside. They did well, but it was actually easier for us to direct sow them, which we did with the second batch that we planted. So that worked out really well. So far, so good on the sweet potatoes. They're still growing. We'll see what happens with that. So I will keep you updated on that. Peppers, our absolute favorite. We grew a lot more this year. And from what we grew this year, it looks like we need to grow even more next year because we eat a lot of peppers. The beans did really well. We're about to start another batch on that because we still have a couple of months to grow some more beans. So we definitely need to expand on our beans as well. Watermelons didn't do so great. Better than last year. We actually grew some, but they didn't turn out as good as we would have liked them to. So we're going to give it another try. Share with us if you have any tips or tricks on watermelons. Corn did better this year than last year. Again, not as good as we had hoped, but better. So we will keep trying and we're going to try out some different crops next year and see how that goes, if that makes a big difference for us. My goal is to really haul over the whole garden for next year. I want to move a bunch of stuff. 
I want a greenhouse. We're going to have a separate area with an in-ground garden where we're going to grow crops like corn um, and greens. So we will expand a little bit further next year. I'll keep you posted on that. I would love to hear from you what your plans are with your garden and what you did different, what worked, what didn't work because I'm here to learn just like you are. As an overall with trellises, I'm gonna stay away from tomato cages that is for me. If it works for you, then that is great. It really did not stand up to what I needed it to do. So I'm not going to invest any further in that. Cattle panels for me and bamboo is the way to go. It is material that you can use over and over and over again. It's not going anywhere. It holds up really well and it's extremely versatile. So whether you want to build arches or if you just want to have a whole wall, they're great, inexpensive and hold up forever. Those trellises are not going anywhere. So let me know what you do with your trellises. I am all out for cattle panels. That is my way to go. Let me know what you do. When it comes to gardening, there's a whole lot more that I need to learn, that I want to try out and really figure out what works best for us as a family because the overall goal is to try to be as self-sufficient as possible. Even if we are growing food that we end up not eating ourselves but work as a feed product for the animals, that is definitely something that I'm willing to try out and see how it works, how we can grow it, how much maintenance it needs. The overall goal is we want to be as self-sufficient as possible for ourselves, for our animals, for the food that we grow and really know what we're putting in our body. Let me hear about your gardening journey this year. Was it your first time? Was it your last time? What are you doing in your garden? What are you going to do different next year? I would love to hear from you. I obviously have my own ideas, but I'm always open to suggestions. So looking forward to hearing from you. Watch our channel for new videos coming out every week. And I am looking forward to seeing you next time. <music>